unplug. In his book, The Animator Survival Kit, Richard Williams' lesson number one is unplug. He innocently asked Mill Cal, one of the nine old men, if he listened to classical music while working. And well, he didn't like the interruption. Whether he listened to music while animating or not, Richard Williams stopped doing it after this experience. He says that an artist's craft and rate of improvement are better if they don't listen to music while working. I wonder if this is true. Personally, I only know one animator that doesn't listen to music because it distracts him. However, everyone else I know or I've seen, including myself, will listen to music. When I'm working as an in-betweener, I even listen to podcasts. Not to mention Lo-Fi Girl and the tons of Beats to Study to playlists people use for regular studying. The Unplug lesson is aimed at animators, but I would like to broaden the scope to consider different activities and types of music for better comparison. Drawing is an activity that doesn't occupy our complete attention. More specifically, it doesn't occupy our hearing sense. So while we use our eyes and hands, other things could enter through our ears. Sounds, music, voices. We could even have a conversation with someone without stopping the work. Animating in any technique is a similar activity. Now, the type of music is also essential. Richard Williams asked Milt Kahl specifically specifically about classical music. A while ago, I tried working with Rimsky's Korsakov's Scheherazade. And I couldn't. I think classical music has narrative qualities that generate images in my brain, overpowering whatever else I'm seeing, completely distracting me. No wonder the chill lo-fi beats skyrocketed. It's a type of music that doesn't distract. But there are other activities where even lo-fi beats divert my attention. Like writing. By the way, this is based entirely on my experience. Shonda Rhimes writes while listening to music banging in her ears. But I can't do that. I can't listen to music because I'm listening to my thoughts while I'm typing. So music would fight for the attention and distract me. What do you... What, what, what? Gases! Gases I eat! How about exercise? I think this is an activity where most people listen to music. It even pumps you and helps you get in the mood of working out. But who knows? Maybe people would concentrate more on their exercise in silence. There are activities where hearing is not the primary sense and we can afford to listen to something else. For example, a composer can't listen to music while making music. Animation is in a similar situation when animating to audio tracks. And of course, there are some physical activities like dancing that need to follow a rhythm. It's clear that for certain activities, like animation, hearing music is not required. But we prefer having it. But why? The world has changed quite a bit since Milt Kahl's time. It's not quiet anymore. It's full of distractions. At any moment, we can take out our phones and scroll on Instagram, or people from anywhere on the planet could reach you instantly, and you're expected to answer messages relatively fast. Not only are we available online, but an annoying environment may surround us, with people talking or lots of noises getting in the way. The world has changed quite a bit since Milt Kahl's time, to the point that we can take music in our ears wherever we go. In a world full of distracting noise, music serves as shelter, and we have grown used to that. Maybe even developing the need to listen to music to be able to work. Now, let's look at two different situations I've experienced and maybe you have two, one plugged and one unplugged. Sometimes it's not only the physical world that distracts us, but our hearts and minds are worried or hurt about something as well. We can't do anything about it and it's not allowing us to focus, but we need to work. Music helps me forget momentarily about that. It silences those troubles and enables me to focus on drawing or animating. In these heartache circumstances, I could even get myself to write while listening to lo-fi. 
On the other extreme, there have been times where I had a playlist going on and I was so immersed that I wasn't aware of it. I just added a layer of noise which in the end was completely ignored by my brain. Or there have been times where I've sat down in silence and started working without any concentration ritual. I continue like this for a couple of hours and I don't even notice the quietness. Experts call this flow state. And it's when you're so focused that everything else vanishes. So should we unplug ourselves or should we continue listening to music? My conclusion is that you need an ideal environment. This includes external, your physical surroundings, and internal, peace in your heart, to feel comfortable working in silence. This ideal environment also includes not having constant distractions from your phone, but sometimes this environment is a luxury, and music can help provide it. Music can close the outside world so you can enter the concentration realm. Unplugging will happen unconsciously when you're fully focused on your craft. 